Hi, I'm Marilee Fowler, Executive Director of MapForce. MapForce is a coalition whose goals are to reduce substance use in Yavapai County and to educate our community about the risks of drug use. What is a coalition and why does it work? While our staff is vital to our mission, it's important to note that we are not a prevention organization whose paid staff does the bulk of the work. This is where the coalition model comes in. We'd like you to meet some of our coalition members and learn firsthand about the work they do and how they contribute to our cause. You'll soon see that a coalition of volunteers brings any nonprofit fresh perspectives and reaches a demographic far beyond the capacity that staff alone can reach. Thank you for joining us. Volunteers make up the core of MatForce. In the early years, we had no money and we had no staff. What we had was passion and energy and commitment. And that early model, based on volunteers stepping forward and having a seat at the table, is the model that MatForce continues to follow today. December 31st, 2004, there was a four car, four fatality accident on Highway 260. The driver of the truck who had caused the accident had been high on meth for three days. It was so simple. I mean, the guy could have not been on the road and it wouldn't have happened. But he was high on meth and he caused all this damage that affected the entire community. In 2006, methamphetamine was everywhere. And many of us individually came to the realization that we were not effective in fighting the scourge. But if we could come together, collaborate, we might have a chance of combating that problem. And that really is the genesis of MatForce. The best part about MatForce is the broad spectrum of backgrounds of the volunteers we have. So we have people in law enforcement, people in the legal community. We have moms, we have firefighters, we have police officers, probation officers. We have doctors and pharmacists that are involved. The list is just incredible. So I got involved with MapForce because I'm in recovery and so this kind of work is immensely important to me. Plus I lost a younger brother to an overdose. In addition to that, I'm co-owner and COO of Recovery in the Pines. So I've been doing this work for an extended period of time and I really care about people in recovery, people struggling with mental health, also about our community. I heard about the task force being developed and they had a meeting in Jerome. I was a firefighter paramedic and I wanted to learn more about it and get involved. I was a patrol officer at Prescott Valley Police Department. I was sitting on patrol one day at Lakeshore Drive and a school bus went by, Humboldt Unified School Bus, and there was a big rectangular poster on the side that said, say no to underage drinking. And um, there was a picture of a girl holding her hand up and I could even read that said mattforce.org. So I went over to the office on Winsong, I met Mary Lee for the first time and they had an underage drinking task force that had just started. My son had died by suicide, and the note that he left ended with the words, my soul is already dead. Marijuana killed my soul, plus ruined my brain. I thought his message is so important for other people to know, so I started looking for who knows this, and what can I do to carry his message forward? And I found Matt Force. I found a substance abuse coalition, which I'd never even heard of such a thing before. I had a family practice in Cottonwood for a number of years and I knew about MAFORS and what they were doing. And what was going on at that time was an overuse of prescription drugs like narcotics, medicines for anxiety and depression, and muscle relaxants. But I knew that the uh, prescription drug program that was set up by the pharmacy board had to be changed from a voluntary system where you voluntarily looked up a patient to a mandatory system Otherwise, people would not comply and would not follow the rules. So that was my main goal, to get the legislature pass a law that said that all physicians, practitioners, and pharmacists had to access this information before they would dispense the drugs to people. And eventually we got that. We have volunteers who work in Yavapai Reentry as community coaches. We have volunteers that serve as Matt Force ambassadors. We use volunteers in our school programs, in our juvenile programs, and of course at our annual Stand With Me Be Drug Free event that is just filled with community volunteers. 
we did a, a thing called the White Cross Project where I took some, some kids out to roadside memorials and we talked about the facts behind the case. Try to get them to understand that sometimes your decisions can have serious, deadly consequences. The reentry project is a perfect example of being involved with people that are at risk to help these people get back and get on their feet again when they get out of jail. So many aspects of Mount Forest have been successful and particularly our, our efforts to reach at-risk populations. The best example that comes to mind is the work that we do on our overdose fatality review board where we are specifically looking at the lives of individuals who suffered a fatal drug overdose and trying to learn where were those opportunities to help and perhaps save that person that we missed. The Alcohol Victim Impact Panel is just a way of presenting information and facts to young people about what alcohol does to the mind and the body so that they can make better, more informed decisions. Being on the speakers committee, I go out and I speak at schools, institutions, things of that nature to talk about issues of substance abuse and mental health. So being a paramedic, I bring my training, but also my experience in the field. So when I'm educating kids about drugs and alcohol, I can speak from experience what I've seen. And my whole goal is to educate them on the medical side of, of all this and what it does to their bodies. We have wonderful staff, but they're being paid a salary to do what we ask them to do. A volunteer comes in and is driven to get something done. I see myself as a volunteer, as somebody who's, who's willing to give them some things without taking much from them. They don't need to do much to support me. Give me ideas, give me somewhere to go and something to say, and I'll, I'll go do it. Matt Force started out with a goal to focus on one drug, methamphetamine task force, what we were called. It grew from that because of the passions of the volunteers and, and the employees involved. An organization like Matt Force could not be as successful as it is without volunteers. It's not about a paycheck for them. It's about making a difference in the community. Matt Force is changing lives every day through the work that we do. Matt Force is a substance abuse prevention coalition that values the work of volunteers who care passionately about helping people make healthy choices and be productive members of our community.